Many years ago, I joined the Royal Society for Protection of Birds, and I joined it because I understood it was a charity and its purpose was to protect birds. It is not the Royal Society for the politicisation of birds. Uh, it's quite clear that the RSPB has long since had a campaign uh, and it's motivated, I suspect, primarily by its hatred of uh, grouse shooting. Now, I don't shoot myself, uh, but I live in the countryside and I see how shooting shapes the countryside, preserves it, and particularly I salute the work of gamekeepers. The fact is the evidence does not support this campaign of the Royal Society of Protection of Birds. The recent call from RSBB to stop burning peat, which is rather an emotive phrase in itself, seems to deliberately confuse controlled and uncontrolled burning. As my honourable friend has made clear, uh, it, its press release of the RSPCA makes six references to burning peat, peatland and bank blanket bog, all in connection with management practices and consents that are actually for the controlled burning of heather, as my honourable friend has said, at surface vegetation and not peat, which is the underlying soil. Control burning of surface vegetation is only permitted to take place in the winter, as my friend has said, where it is cold and wet. It's deliberately limited to small areas. The heather and grass burning code suggests a maximum of 30 metres by 600 metres, with cut margins as fire breaks surrounding them, and a firefighting team of gamekeepers in attendance with fire fogging units and leaf blowers to extinguish flames quickly. I must admit I was inspired to come along to this debate by the excellent article by Lord Botham. I always knew he was a great cricketer and I once saw him do his wonderful century, but I didn't know that he was such a fine campaigner for rural issues and rural people. And it's about time that people like Ian Botham are allowed to speak up for those of us who live in the countryside. Grouse moors are not the emissions problem. Farming and forestry produce far higher levels of greenhouse gas emissions per hectare than grouse moors. Wildlife risk of not burning, as Lord Botham put it in his article last week. As he said then, for years the RSPPA has been attacking the ancient practice of burning heather during damp winters. Britain's gamekeepers use such control activity to reduce the risk of summer wildfires, just like indigenous people in Australia and North America. The of course, yeah. Um, are aware of some of the most recent research which shows that 68% of wildfires uh, in the higher uplands have actually been caused by so-called controlled cold fires. Well, I would, I, would, I would suggest to the Honourable Lady that any research that comes from the RSBBA or related organisations should be dealt with with a great deal of uh, scepticism. I suspect that they have a political agenda. The fact is the RSBBA distorts the science on burning. The Times reported how, and a dozen, a dozen top, and I say this to the Honourable Lady, a dozen top scientists wrote that RSPP press releases on burning bore only, and I quote, passing resemblance to the science. This is a charity. It has to act like a charity and not like a political organisation. It's all very well to argue, quote, ban the burn, an emotive phrase, but there is... That is trying to simplify something that is far more complex in reality. The Royal Society, it is a, quote, Royal Society, makes no distinction between two very different things, the controlled burning of heather for wildlife management and the burning of peatland. Shooting requires careful land management that protects the growth and survival of many species of birds. Rural people have spent decades in careful custodianship of the land and the wildlife that lives in it. Despite this, they find themselves a target of RSPB campaigns that would do serious harm to the environment. Farmers and gamekeepers have to be central to the preservation of wildlife in this country. They live and work in the countryside. There's simply no way around that. Nobody else has resources to protect our countryside. As Lord Botham pointed out, the seed gamekeeper put out for pheasants also feeds lapwings, yellowhammers, and corn bunting. And I live in the countryside, I live on a cottage on a shooting estate, I see how the gamekeepers actually preserve our wild birds. What about thinning out the canopy of trees so the branches don't close in and deprive bushes and shrub life of much needed sunlight? Is the RSPPA going to do that? No. Are members of parliament going to do that? No, it's gamekeepers and farmers who do that. Without managed burns, we increase the risk of uncontrolled wildfires has already been made out. 
the sum of which is that nature suffers, biodiversity suffers, plant life dies, habitats for species wither away, and the richness of our countryside is dulled if, those, if the knowledge and the work of people who work in the countryside is doubted. Grouse managers aim to burn the surface biomass, heather and other plants, not peat. Control fires are excellent for this, but without them, there is a danger of wildfires, and as we've heard from our honourable friend, that simply cannot be denied, because wildfires, by their very nature, are uncontrolled. They can become very hot and spread the fire to burn the underlying peat rather than just the surface. The bigger picture here is a massive gap between rural England and urban England. Such a simplistic statement as, quote, ban the burn shows an ignorance and neglect of rural issues.